All right, what I'm going to show is a basic CNC milling operation. This is the program that I have put up on here. It's going to cut out the piece that I'm going to make. Before you go ahead and do that, what you want to first do is make sure that the machine is ready to run. Right now it's calibrating itself. It needs to make sure that the X, Y, and Z coordinates are accurate. Okay, it has finished homing itself out. This is the workpiece. It is mounted into the vise. First, what you want to do is set your axes. Okay, and that looks like a pretty good setup right there. Just need to raise it a little bit. Alright. And now it's just pretty much trial and error. Right now I'm telling it that I'm at the starting point or point of origin. And now it'll know what to measure all of its dimensions off of, which is what you see right here, just like on a graph. And now I'm ready to run it. Tool 1 is inserted. Press F5 to continue. kind of hard for me to watch this and the computer at the same time. Right now I'm doing a procedure that's called a face-off to where I make the block flat.
these two dials that I have right here, I can adjust how fast I want the end mill to turn right here and how fast I want the table to move right here. The nice thing about wax is it's very machinable and you can cut anything that you want with it and you won't break anything. thing is, is that if the spindle speed moves too fast, they'll throw chips everywhere. They need to be cleaned up. Whenever we're done with our projects, we suck up the chips into a shop vac and then recycle them to make more wax projects out of them. Because we go through quite a few of these, especially this time of year. First time I've run it since I edited the mistake that I had on the last one.
done. This is just for a completion grade and I'll get full points for this one. And that's how you do a basic CNC milling operation.